not a saucy chef. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Saucy in the kitchen, who wanna eat? Who wanna eat? Nah, nah, she the chef, y'all wanna you meet. You wanna meet Quickie meals, you can all enjoy at home. I can sense that you hungry, you are not alone. Like, share, and subscribe, don't hold your breath. Stop what you're doing, it's not, not a saucy chef. Guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nana, the Saucy Chef. Today we're going to be making Sloppy Joe ground beef and rice. This is a one pot meal. The ingredients that we're going to need today are two cups of chicken broth, one cup of long grain white rice, one pound of ground beef, one medium green bell pepper diced, one medium onion diced, three large garlic cloves minced, one half cup of ketchup, one fourth cup of water, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of brown sugar, one fourth teaspoon of ground black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of mustard, one half teaspoon of parsley flakes, one teaspoon of onion powder, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and we're gonna need two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. In a heated pan, we're gonna add in our two tablespoons of olive oil. You want that to come to temperature. We have our heat over medium. To our pan, we're going to add in our onion and our green pepper. We want that to saute for about three minutes. After three minutes, you want to add in your minced garlic. We're going to let that saute for one minute. Now you can add in your ground beef. I'm going to go ahead and break down our ground beef and make sure it's mixed well with our green peppers and our onions and garlic. Now we're going to go ahead and season our meat. You want to go ahead and season it as you normally would, being careful with adding your salt in. So I'm using garlic powder, onion powder, And some ground black pepper. You guys season your meat to your liking. And now we're just going to go ahead and cook our ground beef until it's all brown. Once your ground beef is done cooking, you want to turn off your heat. You want to remove it from your pan, drain it of all excess grease. Once you drained all the grease, return it back to your pan. Now we're going to add in our two cups of chicken broth. You want your heat to be on medium. And we're also going to add in our one fourth cup of water. You can go ahead and mix that up. You can go ahead and give it a taste. If you need any more salt, you can put it in or pepper. Also, raise your heat up to high. We want to bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, you want to add in your cup of rice. We're going to go ahead and mix that thoroughly. Now you want to lower your heat to low and 
now you want to place your lid over top and we're going to let that cook for 20 minutes until the rice is nice and tender and guys don't remove your lid just let your rice cook you don't want to stir it or open the lid at all now I'm going to shred my cheddar cheese okay guys after 20 minutes you can remove your lid keep it on low heat now we're going to add in our ketchup our brown sugar our onion powder our garlic powder our ground black pepper our Worcestershire sauce and also our mustard now you want to mix everything until it's well combined once everything is well combined you want to go ahead and let it simmer for four to five minutes so all the flavors will blend together okay guys after four minutes you want to go ahead and turn off your heat now we're going to take our cheddar cheese and we're just going to place it over top you can use as much or as less as you would like Now you can place your lid over top and we're just going to let our cheese melt. Okay guys, now you can go ahead and take your parsley flakes and just sprinkle them over top just to add a little bit of color. So guys, here we have it, our sloppy joe ground beef and rice made in one pot. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please come back. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And until next time, this is Nana, the Saucy Chef. Y'all hungry yet?